If you're a millennial thinking about buying a home, this video is for you. So first things first, I get it. Buying a home can be really expensive right now. You know, you have people like maybe your parents, grandparents that talk about buying a home, but the reality is when they bought their homes maybe 40, 50 years ago, homes were like $3. I'm joking, they weren't really like $3, but they were way, way, way cheaper than they are right now. I get it, home prices are up, interest rates are up, I totally understand that. But hear me out, just like your parents and maybe grandparents have gotten all that equity from owning a home, the same thing is possible with buying a home right now. Let me give you an example. I have clients that bought homes pre-pandemic and even during the pandemic in 2019, 2020. I've had clients that sold those houses in 2023 and have walked away with six figure checks. Let me say that again. They walked away with six figure checks. Even after all the fees, taxes, things that they pay when they sell, they're still walking away with six figure checks. So it's possible, now it's not maybe not possible how your parents maybe bought a house for super cheap and now it's worth over a million dollars. Now that may not be possible right now in the short term, but in the long term, that may be possible. Real estate is one of the few things that rarely ever depreciates over a long period of time as an investment. So here's the thing. If you ever look, and I'll drop a screenshot of it. If you ever look at the trajectory of real estate, of the real estate market and real estate home prices, even with the real estate crash of 2008, and if we had another correction, corrections in the real estate market are normal. Nothing goes up 100% of the time, every year, all the time. The stock market has crashed a few times, but it always goes up historically. Real estate is the same way. It's crashed a few times. There's had more corrections than we can count, but in the long run, over the years, it always goes up. So that goes into when people say that real estate is almost always, always have to say almost always, but real estate is almost always a good investment because over the long run, it almost always goes up and appreciates in value. So specifically as a millennial, what does that mean for you? What does that mean if you are thinking about buying a home, what should you do? So in my opinion, I would get in the game. I'm 32 years old. I bought my first house when I was 24 years old. I got in the game. Now granted, eight years ago, houses were cheaper, but I got in the game. I got a starter home. It wasn't my dream home. It's not like the house that I live in now, which still isn't my dream home but it wasn't anything that blew me away and I absolutely fell in love with it, but I realized the power of leverage. And when I bought my first home, I didn't use any first time home buyer programs. I did a 3% down conventional loan. So total out of pocket on my first home was about $25,000 I put out of pocket. Kept that home for about four, about five years, and then bought the second home, kept the first one as a rental, and then two years ago, sold that one and pocketed six figures from my first home in under 10 years of owning it. I don't know any other investment that you can put in because we have to live somewhere. Either you're renting, you purchased, or you might be living at home with your parents and that's okay. But everybody has to live somewhere. So if you're gonna live somewhere, I recommend to buy let your equity work for you. So the steps to buying a home, first things first, recommend reaching out to a good real estate agent. If you are in the Washington DC metro area, I would love to help you. You can reach out. My information is in the description of the video. First things first, find a good realtor. Second, a good realtor can connect you with a really good loan officer or lender. So we get you pre-approved and then we start shopping for your home. I promise you buying a home is not that hard. So the thing that I recommend for any millennial that's thinking about buying a home, it's the same thing I tell all of my clients. Get in, buy your starter home. It most likely won't be your dream home and that's okay. Just get in, get in the game, 
get your first home, let it build equity over a few years, then you can either keep it as a rental property or sell it, cash in that equity, buy the next home that may be your dream home or that much closer to your dream home 